Shalom, 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 um, sh- so like, yeah, shall, um, shalom unto the Israelites who have been scattered upon um, the four corners of the earth and shalom unto the few and people aquatium who, who has been listening and learning. This is a brother Karateza, brother Yassad, and you know we are from um, the GMS Prophetic Vibration Camp out of Trinidad. So basically here you know me and the brother looking to fire up one you know keep the, keep the stone rolling. Right. Um, a little video on the Lord will manifest His power amongst the saints, right? Amongst the saints, because on the other hand, you you, you would see he saw Edom being in his in his pride, you know, um, as he say, um, God God is not and He is, mm. you know, He the statement where where um, He said, um, I think that was. Either close five or, or another one. Yeah, yeah that's it. Hey, we don't need the God of the Bible anymore, you know, because of the te- technological advancements and whatsoever, you know. So it come like they trying to x off the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh the pity, and he, they already have that dark, as 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 the scriptures say, um, darkness cover the world and gross darkness. The people they already had that you know, influence at the whole multitude that, you know, with this with this Christianity doctrine, God is all good, God is, you know, he's nothing bad, he's, you know, so the people already have a mindset of how they view God's actions, reactions, all these things, which is, which is all false, you know, because we know the Lord is a man of war, he's bringing for judgments, all these things, right? But... Um, I'll start off with this precept in Wisdom of Solomon 12, right? Because this devil is going to come down with great wrath, you know? Um, in the Wisdom of Solomon 2, it speaks of, you know, let we try these men, you know? Because the law, the, 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 this whole Jacob's trouble is going to be a, a yeah, it's a, it's judgment on the Jacob, but yet it's going to be a great trial upon the Lord's elect, you know? Because all of this here, everything revolves around the elect, right? The Lord said, so, well, the world was created for our sakes, right? So, Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 17, it says, For when men will not believe that thou art of full power, mm-hmm. right? Because right now, in everybody's mind, you know, some are atheists, some, you know, they, they, they caught up in the doctrine, yeah, it have a God in it, but, but what? It's like, he, he, he do have all that power now, you know, and then the influence that this devil bringing up on the place, having people thinking, you know, uh, it's like man still have control, you know, you could choose your own will, you could go, but which is all a lie, right, you know, so they, 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 they really read the Yahweh Hashem uh, at that level yet, you know, because hey, look at it. For the longest while because if the prophets know we know the lord bring forth and wrought all these judgments upon the place isaiah 45 17 you know you create the light and you form darkness you create evil and all these things okay. but they don't understand that because when you check a lot of them hey the devil busy boy you know the devil sit and do that when they hear a crash go on a man get drunk and he kill two three people hey the, the, the devil will kill but they understand how it works, the order in heavens, all these things, right? So, in their mind, Satan had the power, you know, the ex of the most, the heavenly father, due to the darkness that Esau, Edom spread. So, hence what this precept said, For when men will not believe that thou art full power, thou shewest thy strength, and among them that know, know it, Thou makest their boldness manifest. And this is where the Lord is going to manifest his strength amongst the elect. And these times here, you know, heading into Jacob's trouble, right? Because 
hey, this man is gonna come down with great rats. They literally mm-hmm. seen the tech technologies he have. You know, advanced robots, all these things. You know, you seen robots shooting at its target. You know, all these things. So it's not gonna be a, a walk in the park, Jacob's trouble, right? So hey, the Lord is gonna be the one to provide, protect for the elect. So and in that time, hey, it's gonna manifest a a, a a great confidence in uh, upon the man of the Lord in that time, eh? God. right? Yeah, but I'm preset. Yeah, God. Yeah. All right. So this is the book of um, Ephesians two and eight, and it say um for by grace, are uh, ye saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is the gift of your power, not of works, lest any man um should boast. Can boast it, mm-hmm. right? Because what would not be a, a real key thing, you know, in Jacob's trouble would be a feat, right? Because when you see hey, that nothing to eat again, you're going to be seeing looting, a lot of looting going on, neighbor killing neighbor, set of race wars, you know, the place going on, the place is going to be a all mess because the, this devil's agenda is all chaos, right? And he knew it would affect the men of the Lord because what? We just as a Lord. You know we're not we're not um full with the the, the 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 um the things of this life money this that you know so we the, the moment things start to get hard it's gonna be affect us because we look at the honest we are making our dollar working hard etc so when that time come our food would run out you know some brothers would be without a shelter all these things but here is where what that precept say what Without, without the feet, um, with read it back, you know the feet. You need the feet. Right, first um, second um, Ephesians two and eight, and it says, "For by grace ye are saved through faith." Yeah, and that not of yourself; it is the gift of your heart. Can and that shows you that what feet is a gift from your heart. So not not all men going and had a feet in that time, right? So not all men going and. Rely upon your Bashem or Shai. The Lord said, if it wasn't um, for the remnant, we would have been unto like Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm-hmm. Right? So when we, um, uh, the book of Jeremiah 30, Yeah. Isaiah 33 and 6 it says and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation the fear of the Lord is his treasure right because our wisdom thing would be what something wise would be a hey, we ought to we ought to choose we say now choose the hour because I really we need we on this option out tight. You know, we're going to put all his trust in, in, in him. No matter how dark the road looks down, down ahead. Because we're going to enter into some real dark and scary times. Okay. Right? You had more on that precept? Yeah. All right. All right. So we'll get down to verse 10 in um, Ephesians 2 and 10. For we are his workman, um, are his workmanship created in Hamashiach Yawashai unto good works. Um. Which Yahweh had before ordained that we should walk in them. Yeah. So the the, the elect was already predestined to, to go down that path. Okay. We are the Lord's workmanship because everything revolves around the elect. The world was created for the elect's sake. So just as how it says um um just as goal is tried in the fiery furnace, so acceptable men in the fullness of adversity. Right, just roughly far prison, it? Yeah, so all I just say this time is to come to our trial because the Lord said what um the, the, the whole world is gonna be tried. Right? So when time of the MOTV comes out, hey brothers is gonna need that deliverance, right? So what? This is where the strength from Yahweh Bashem Yoshai, his power is gonna manifest amongst the saints, right? As um 
the precept Isaiah Say, um, right, so, so these, this is the, the, the type of faith that you, that you will have to have because with you have a time when you wouldn't have no food, you wouldn't see nobody bringing no food for you, you understand? Mm -hmm. So, and you and you yourself have to have, you know, faith to be able to walk on that, on that arm path. And when you have a shy gear dream visions and say, Hey, I ordain you to go here and you have to have faith to go down that path no matter what. Right? This is Hebrews eleven and one and say now faith is the is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Right? So yeah. So yeah, yeah. Part, right? Because as faith faith is a is a real key to that, right? Because when hey, Isaiah fifty nine nineteen it says so they so shall they fear the name of your how about Shemuel Shai from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood mm -hmm. right because he saw is gonna come in with his troops he's gonna come in with his plagues because this this man is all about chaos bringing in the chaos and then he would come with the with his agenda. You know, uh, the the RFID micro for everyone to take to, to, to bring peace. But the scriptures say when you see peace and safety, sudden destruction going and come. So we 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 will not expect sudden destruction soon. So it's uh, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of your Hawaba Shemel Shai shall lift up his standard against him. Yeah. Because in that time and hey, Brothers is gonna need that spiritual power, mm -hmm. and this is where what the Lord is manifesting His strength amongst His saints. You know, some brothers is gonna be locked up in in prisons. The Lord is gonna give brothers, you know, strength to fight, just as how we how Samson, uh, of um, forefather Samson, cry out when he was taken by the Philist Philistines. You know. He he what he called back uh, upon Yahweh over Hashem Yahushai. He trusts in Yahweh over Hashem Yahushai. He put confidence in Yahweh over Hashem Yahushai. Lord give me back that power once more, mm. you know. And he, the Lord lift up back that standard in him. You know where he slay. I think it was. I can't remember. A like couple thousands of them, right? Mm. You know. Um. Another one here. Yeah, so go ahead and go to to pick this up. Right, this is um second Timothy one and six wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of your hour, right? Which which is the gift is feet, right? Which is in thee by putting on of my hands. For your hour had not given us the spirit of fear, but power and, and of love and of a sound mind. And yeah, pa, yeah, pa precept. Because in that time, man, his brothers is gonna be seeing a lot of scary shit. You're gonna yeah. be seeing women walking out the the hands chop off, women being raped, graped, you know, all sorts of diseases. Because we don't know, we 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 know far far this devil. We show all this Ebola and all these thing he has in his lab mm. and advancing these things to bring out. You know mm -hmm. all these diseases you know so so well we know we're not going to ask it fear and then too the lord is going to manifest the two realms as the scripture did say in second is just one realm against another you know because he saw him he's already seeing you know um, angels and this and that flying and all these things but soon the lord is hey, it, the lord is gonna let let all the evil spirits, all these things, let loose. You go, brothers, hey, you're gonna be seeing demons mm -hmm. all about the place. But what oh, we don't have the spirit of fear, but of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. 
right? So that how we gonna be, you know, having that trust in the Lord and watch. In that time and when we see these things happening and we're being delivered, you know, because we're gonna be seeing chariots, you know, the, the spirit of the Lord encamp it amongst them that fear our Bashem Shai because even now when our brother see a chariot it is just a faith booster. Okay. You know, so if you in a position because literally the angels is gonna be sent to, to pull you out of your situation. You know? A angel is be, because look at how much times a angel come and delivered. You know? Look when uh look for instance say Luke twelve and twenty four it say that um Yeah. Twenty four no Luke twelve and I'll start at twenty two. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body, what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouses, nor barn, and how about Shemuel shall feed them? How much more are ye better than the fowls? Yeah, because in that time when there's not nothing for nobody to eat, you're gonna be eating Isaiah sixty-five and um I think it's eleven. You could you could yeah, remember that? Yeah, oh yeah, so go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Quick piece of here. Alright, so this is um Psalms thirty four and verse six. The poor man cried, and Yahweh heard him and saved him out of his tr troubles. Ah. Right? With seven the angel of Yahweh camped around about them that fear him. And the Lord, hey, the poor, the poor, hey, the Israelites, you know, and mainly the elect, because we're gonna only gonna be the only ones going and cry unto our Bashem in that time, man, um, you know. And what he gonna deliver us, you know, it's by sending his angels. And this year is where a brothers is gonna literally see with the eyes the angels and and they they you know they be de being delivered out of that situation because I had a dream where you know the Lord you know in that dream the Lord put me up in a set of different situations. It had one when he was up in a tower in a um, a big hotel, a very high hotel, and the whole streets was flooded with um men and police and it was grabbing up people. It looked like it was a situation like all who didn't had the had the the the, the micro and it had a couple it come like a little small unit of resistance and was looking and grabbing up the people and taking them to put them where wheresoever. So me and a couple of brothers up in a room with other individuals. So they come like out it was like a hiding hiding place. But the police and army and thing come and burst the and the pointed wee group, right? The literally pointed wee group grab all of them up. And what is like they come up and they grab other people. It was like the Lord made us invincible. You know? Then it had our next while but all this was all one dream in in, in, in two tall. It had our next scene where it was me and our brother in our room and nuclear come. Well, it, it, I doubt it's a nuclear missile. It could be like probably ballistic missiles and whatsoever yeah. hit. And all over buildings, mash up people dead. And just the little spot where me and he was in, even piece of the house they mash up on it. But just the little area where we was, they, they not, didn't happen. The two of me and that, the brother live. You know? So, hey, the die how we going to be in that time? Eh? You know, and what that going to bring great boldness to your face to know hey yeah or shy dealing with me right you going and literally witness the lord's power you know right in front of their eyes yeah uh, yeah how about the says james um it is a book of james 2 and 14 it says what thou it profit my brethren though a man say he have faith and have not the works and not the works can fit save him yeah so you know so at the end of the day you cannot say without your half feet with any vessel empty right mm -hmm. so you have to, to believe so you have to believe 
with in order for your faith to um, increase. Because without that, right, you, it, it will just come like if you're just saying it in vain then. Uh-huh. With, and then you're saying about your half faith and then nothing, nothing do, do um, work at all. Right? So, so with that now, you have to put aside everything else and put him first and put your bashim and shy first. Yeah, pa, yeah, seek ye the kingdom of heaven and all shall be added. And then in the second, it just speaks about, you know, and these are they which shall be saved by the faith and the works. Yeah. You know, because you ought to be going out in the highways and byways, you ought to be, you know, studying all these things. All other sayers literally are built up. Mm-hmm. You know, you're going through little situations now on how you would deal with it, how you're dealing with it amongst the brotherhood. All other sayers just really. The training for the for the great event okay. you know because hey he saw he don't never had us out of his mind up to this day you know because the time coming where he's gonna really crack up on us brothers is gonna be taken you know mm-hmm. um wisdom of Solomon 2 and 17 it said let us see if if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him for if the just man be the son of Yahweh Hashem Yerushai, because I will be confess. Okay. You know, we are the people of Yahweh Hashem Yerushai, you know? and and the devil, hey, he's gonna he's gonna take our brothers, torture us, bro- torture brothers, you know, because hey, the Lord was the Lord was crucified, all these things, and the servant is not greater than the master, right? Let's say he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. So, hey, if this is really men, let me try these men because look, when they crucified, um, torture and these things to John, Paul and these, these men, right? When they, oh, they chop off John the Baptist's head, to do all sorts of these things to the, to the, to the prophets, right? They seem not new under the sun. He's all coming back with this, with the same motive. Okay. Verse 19 says, let us examine him with despitefulness and torture, that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Because all other day, some brothers are going to be martyrs. Some brothers are going to be set up upon these, these devil's synagogues as a, as a great example. It's going to be tortured, all these things. But this is where hey, we had, had a boldness in us, you know, where we recite the precepts in our mind. Uh, uh, that you know, um, for example, the, the precept of say the the the, the soul of the righteous is in the hand. Uh, you have a bashim and shine. No torment, no torment is gonna touch you. You know. So when they when they torture us and these sin, the Lord is said gonna send us angel to relieve all our pain. So when when they thinking, hey, as the precept say in 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 their sight, he seemed to die. Right? But but what? I'm gonna get that precept. Okay. Yeah, something to bring for the way. Yeah, yeah, so um right, so this is a book of um of Deuteronomy eight and eleven, which reads Beware that thou forgot not your hour thy power. In, um, in not keeping his commandments and his judgment and his statutes, which I commanded thee till this day, right? And a lot of people have, you know, forgotten the power of your Havabah, Shem Yashai. And you see at the end, in the precept, and you say, which I have commanded thee this day, which is even at this time too, we still had to obey the law, statutes, and commandments. Right? You know? And um going to um so so let me get the Hosea four Hosea four and six and he say my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge I will also reject thee that thou shall be no priest to me seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power I will also forget thy children. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So
so hey and but what the man of the lord is gonna be in his spirit uh-huh. of yeah of Hashem, you know he's in his coming you know rehearsing the righteous acts and these things you know so that they would remember it you know so that the lord wouldn't forget them right because they um the wisdom of solomon three and one but mm-hmm. the souls of the righteous are in the hand of your however Hashem El Shai. so when we equip with these these you know these words you know our works in that time and the lord is gonna literally manifest his strength because some brothers are gonna be tortured and taken up mm-hmm. but in our minds we we had his spirit uh, uh trusting in your Hashem El Shai. he gonna no matter what they do to me he gonna still deliver me even if the cut off my hands cut off my He's still gonna deliver me, and somehow it's and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken from misery. So they're gonna wanna drink our blood and cut us up and do all these things unto us. But we're gonna focus upon what the things are above when these things is going on, and the Lord will, the Lord will make it seem that hey, yeah, you getting cut up, but you know and feel it. Just as when um Stephen was stoned to death, Stephen didn't. Yeah, he had a very grim face, a serious face, at what they was doing on him. But it's, uh, it was like he wasn't even feeling the the the, the hitting of the stone, cause yeah. like the Lord take away the the pain from him, you know. And he just waited and get taken up into the heavens. Let's see. And they're going from us the utter destruction, but they are in peace, right? For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their yeah, hope full of immortality. Yeah, because all of this year we're going to manifest our boldness. Right? Because in that time, eh, the chariots going to be around. You know, because they always are. The brothers is going to be delivered on different occasions. Right. And eh, we're going to literally see, be seeing, one, the Lord bringing forth real judgment upon the place. And we're going to be delivered, you know? Mm-hmm. You have anything else? Oh, we have one more precept to do. Right, time. Um, so yeah, so think our next precept. Psalms 20 and verses 7. It says, Some trust in chariots mm. and some in horses, but we will remember the name of our of the Lord our power, Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Yeah, so we going to, in that time, we will remember Yahweh Bashem El Shai, you know, because He is the only one that is going to deliver us out of that those situations. We had to rely on His power, as you see. Wait on me till I rise up to the prey, you know? Well, hey, hopefully this lesson was very fine. You want to give out prayer to say, Double You know, salute to you. Akiyam's pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Shalom to you. Aquatiam, you know, being obedient and faithful to your husband. Until the next one, shalom. Shalom.